Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning once again. I um, would like to uh, give an update which is not an update yet. We, we are following upon our lawyers regarding the matter of Honorable Robert Kalimi, who is a member of parliament for Malole, who is detained at police station uh, Kawata on charges of um, alleged motor vehicle theft that occurred in 2018. Uh, I just would like to invite our leader of the opposition, Honorable Brian Munduvile, to speak to these issues where our members are detained uh, for prolonged periods despite the regular assurances by the president that the police will not arrest someone with a proper investigation and even when they are arrested they will be given police bond uh, quickly so that the matters can be processed in court. Yeah, thank you. Thank you Comrade uh, Imano. Uh, we've been here since yesterday as you know and uh, I think for me really this is uh, 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 saddening uh, especially that uh, it's clear uh, where President Haka and Chile would like to take this country. I think his wish is to take it back to one party state. Uh, so he's going to continue giving instructions for arbitrary arrests by basic now. Uh, and I'm not speaking from without. You all listened to him when he was at the other day. Uh, he, he mentioned that uh, he was uh, inviting positive criticism and that he was ready for positive criticism and he immediately changed and said but be careful if you tell a lie and they arrest you don't say we're persecuting now wait a minute you have invited someone to give you their point of view now the fact that you don't agree with what they've said uh, you believe they've told a lie and then you should call police to go and arrest them is this a reason why honorable kalimi is now uh, being detained at kabata police is that the reason why Musukwa is facing, uh, 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 you know, uh, constant searches? So when you hear the Zambian people saying the president is full of rhetoric, this is exactly what they mean. I know that all of you remember when he was in opposition, he mentioned, he constantly talked about the rule of law and how he was going to ensure that people are not uh, detained for prolonged uh, periods of time. He has continued to say that even when he's president, saying for bondable offenses, we arrest you at 10 hours, at 12 hours you're out. We arrest you at 12 hours, at 14 hours you're out. Now, we have people detained for even up to two weeks, okay, at the instance of the president. Uh, so it's very clear that uh, what the president says and what he does are totally different and it's unfortunate because when uh, there was a reaction when one journalist one of you talked about rhetoric people reacted angry but this is exactly what they were talking about otherwise should we conclude that uh, the, 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 the the command the police command has ignored the president should we take it that the commander in chief has been ignored by the police command because what the president uh, they talked about, we took it that that was policy, that was the position of government. And yet the police have continued on this tra trajectory. So it's either the police command has totally ignored the president, or it's the president himself that is sitting on a table. Instead of resolving challenges for soya beans farmers, he's now directing police to arrest, arrest Kalimi and hold on to Kalimi. Instead of attending to the challenges at, the case, at KCM and Mopani, the president is at community house directing police to arrest Karimi and hold on to Karimi for a week or thereabouts. He's seated at uh, the state house directing police towards his Muskoka's uh, property. We are in a country where we are living by double standards. Uh, this is a country where people are exchanging elephants for gifts when others are going without meals. It's the same Zambia. There are people today who have not eaten, who will not eat the whole day. But it's the same country where families are exchanging elephants eh, for gifts. So you can see the double standards in, in, in this country. And eh, Zambians, wake up. Yes, so wake up. How, how long will you continue to be cheated? You know, let's stand up and speak what is right. Yeah. So for us,
us as a new leader that you have elected uh, to represent you, we, are, we shall speak without fear. Because if for any reason, if for any reason we sit back in fear, the country would have slidden into a one-party state. And that is the aim of uh, the President Naga Day. So yeah, before we let you go, what would be your reflection of the President's press conference that was held on Thursday, 18th May 2023? Um, there was a lot of disappointment expressed that there was no major policy announcement, there was no reshuffle or changes done, there was no major pronouncement requiring that press conference. In, in, instead, there was what appeared to have been revision. And then the President, I think, fits in the bill where people are accusing him of rhetoric and no action. What's your reflection of the press conference? Yes, yes, yes comrade. Um, as, as you know, uh, there were a number of issues that are the country is facing numerous challenges. Uh, you're talking about the shortage of drugs in hospitals. I came from Northern Province. The entire province has not got it. People are dying of malaria because there's no That's medicine. A malaria bill. That's a malaria belt, you know? Uh, people of Northern Province were glued to the TVs, wanting to hear what he was going to say about the shortage of drugs. Farmers across the country wanted to hear what he was going to say about, um, first of all, the, uh, uh, the supply of inputs, and secondly, the marketing uh, season. People on the Cooper Belt were glued to their TVs. They thought that now that the president is, uh, the, you know, dead in the press, the issue of KCM and uh, Mopani will be will be resolved. So there were a number of issues that people were looking forward to, you know. Uh, and there we are. The expectation was very high. So the drug across the world, in Zambia, the issue of your drug here in Musaka is not the problem because when you go to the hospital, they are told there's no water and given the prescription. The number of Zambian baby here, uh, you know, in, 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 uh, disposable income to walk up the chemist and buy. I'm coming from a rural constituency. I'm coming from a rural province. People are dying every day because they're the shortage of drugs. And get the president, he, he, you know, it just crossed over it. They fooled soybeans farmers into growing soybeans. They dedicated their time and energy to growing soybeans. And the president says, uh, sell it whatever you want. Be exploited if you want. You know? So, uh, uh, comrade, comrade uh, uh, Mwamba, for me, I think uh, the rhetoric from the head of state uh, has reached alarming levels. Uh, the president is spending a lot of time out of Zambia. And I think that um, the Zambia that is imaginary and the Zambia that there is in reality are two, two different things. That is the reason why he keeps on saying the things they have done in one and a half years, it's as if they've been around for five years. But the Zambians are saying the suffering that you have brought to the Zambian people in one and a half years, it's as if you've been in power for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we must understand that. And uh, they, clearly, we have a president in state house who's not ready to resolve the problems in Zambia. He would rather be adored, he would rather be uh, 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 cherished outside these jurisdictions than solve the problems of the Zambian people. But the incompetence of the police, the unwillingness to adhere to the rule of law by the police because of instructions from State House must be resisted by all. We must stand up and demand for the rule of law. This is a constitutional democracy where we all enjoy our rights. The abuse of human rights. The abuse of human rights like we are witnessing at police stations must be stopped. And I want to say this to the international community that please do not believe any statement that will come you know, from our head of state regarding the rule of law because the examples are abound. People are being punished every day, detained for prolonged hours for no reason even for bondable offenses. Police are jumping and diving. Sureties are there to sign bond and everybody is running up and down. And those that are sincere are whispering to us that instructions are coming from state house. Those that are honest are saying we can't do anything until community house does that. Now, so you can imagine the problems that we have as a country. A president will descend into that arena of giving instructions to police stations to detain citizens instead of resolving a bigger problem. That's the reason why we are where we are. So
Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.